Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to make some really cute plant stands out of some thrifted items that I found. I think these are unexpected and they turned out absolutely beautiful. So the first thing is I had found this silver um, candle holder at a local thrift store but not a fan of the color. So I spray painted it with the stone spray paint and then I had this little wood round. It was actually a little Lazy Susan I had in my stash. Um, I believe I got it from Target in the dollar spot section. And I just pulled off the back. Um, but you can use any wood round or a plate. Um, anything like that for the top. I did save that Lazy Susan piece. Um, and I thought the wood was a nice color. So I really didn't do anything to that. Um, but as I said, I did... Uh, spray paint the candlestick with two coats of that stone spray paint which I absolutely love. Uh, the camera just doesn't capture the, the look of it. And then I simply just used some E6000 and glued the wood round to the top of the candlestick. Um, I just love taking things um, you know that look one way and transforming them into something in a completely different design aesthetic. Super easy to make and I believe the candlestick cost me about two dollars and uh, love love the way it turned out. I know this stone spray paint comes in several different colors so it can go with a lot of different decors. But, um, as I said, just love the way this turned out. Simple, inexpensive, and looks really good. The next thing um, is I bought these lampshades at a local thrift store. Uh, they are about a dollar a piece. And I'm just going to use scissors and remove all of the uh, cording and the fabric from them. Um, pulling it all off. Just kind of tearing it and cutting it. it they came off pretty easy um, just all the way around on both of them and then I'm also going to cut off the um, part in the center that would kind of hold it onto the lamp where the light would go in um, I don't, I'm not going to need that part so I just use some wire cutters to cut that off and these are really cool because it, it does not matter what fabric they are, what they're made out of, because that's going to all come off and all you're going to be left with is the wire frame. So it's really just the shape of the lampshade um, that's going to stay. So pretty easy. These are usually just glued on um, to the lampshade. So uh, they're pretty easy to come off, especially if it's an older lampshade. Um, you will want to clean um, the wire or metal frame. A um, little bit of soap and water. Um, just clean it all up and get any kind of glue residue or um, dirt or anything like that. Um, off and um, if you have to cut off a piece like I did this in this one that center piece you will want to um, use some sandpaper and uh, sand down any rough edges so I just took some wire cutters and just clipped off um, that center part um, and the same with this one, the, the little center part was different, but I still wanted to um, clip off um, that piece there um, on the top. Then I just simply took some black spray paint and gave them a couple coats um, of just a matte black. And again, you can use any color that you want. 
Um, one of them, this round one, I left as is and uh, just put a pot into it. I love the way that looks. The squarish one, um, I had a wood round in my stash, um, but again, you could use a plate or um, a dish or, or if there's a tree that's been cut down, you can, you know, saw off a piece. But I just used some E6000 and just glued that to the top. And again, love the way they looked. look. I just think it's a really neat one. And then here's a picture of, that I've included um, 